We have all been there. You see a video about fingerboarding for the very first time and you go and find your tech deck to start trying the tricks. But then you quickly realize that tech decks kind of suck. Dude, this tech deck sucks. Well, then you start questioning whether it's you that can't do the trick or the board. Turns out it is just you, uh, the board the level, the quality of the board. Lucky for you, you can actually transform an entire tech deck into a whole new board with a super low cost. You might be asking yourself, Alex, are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? You sell pro fingerboard. Why are you telling people not to buy a professional fingerboard? My honest answer is I genuinely just want to see people have fun with fingerboarding. And I feel like a lot of beginners are kind of discouraged when everybody tells them they need a pro fingerboard to get better. This is for anybody who wants to get way better at fingerboarding, but they only have a tech deck. Or if you have a bunch of pro fingerboards, but you also just want to upgrade a tech deck. Before I begin, I just wanted to mention, I just released a brand new fingerboard collection over at gripshinfingerboards.com anybody's interested. I've made a few videos about upgrading tech decks in the past, but normally I just completely strip the parts and put pro parts on the board, and I feel like that's kind of cheating. So for this tech deck upgrade, I'm gonna keep the budget as low as possible by using as many of the parts already on the board. Like I was saying, in the past, I've completely stripped the parts off of a tech deck and just put pro fingerboard parts on it. Something I've noticed about doing that is the board still just has a tech deck kind of cheap feel to it, and that could be because it's plastic, but I don't think so. If you compare the nose and the tail of a tech deck to a pro fingerboard, you're gonna notice the nose and tail have a lot rounder edges on the pro board. Just by placing the tech deck on the pro board, you can see how much of the nose overhangs on the tech deck. Just by having that little bit of overhanging plastic on the tech deck definitely changes the feel of the board when you use it. Let's take off this edge and reshape the entire board. I stacked both of the boards together and I'm just gonna make a little scratch on where we're gonna take off that part of the board. Just imagining what the board is gonna look like without that little piece on the edge definitely changes how the board looks. I have a couple different ideas on how I'm gonna cut the edge off, but I'm just gonna try sandpaper and see if it works. I'm gonna start with 100 grit sandpaper and then work my way to 200. Just about made it to the line. Dude, you can just reshape a tech deck. That completely changed like the overall kind of like look of the board and now it doesn't even look like a tech deck. Let's take off the other side and then I can finish upgrading this board. Just from simply shaping the deck, it's definitely gonna have a lot better of a feel. I've said this before in some other videos, but I'll say it again. Grip tape is one of the biggest things that can actually affect your fingerboard. I know a lot of people are probably thinking a deck or trucks or even wheels are probably more important than grip tape, but trust me, grip tape is one of the most important things. And it turns out tech deck grip is terrible. So one of the only things I'm actually gonna buy for this setup is a piece of grip tape. Just a single piece of grip tape, that's all you need. If you ever have a hard time getting grip tape off of a tech deck, just heat it up a little bit and then it just peels right off. I actually think it's impossible to fully get a piece of tech deck grip off in one piece. It was going so good up until that point. You can actually buy foam grip tape off Amazon for a pretty cheap cost, and I think it also comes in like a pack of like 10, which is gonna last a while. I'll try and have a link in the description if anybody wants to get some grip tape off of Amazon. At this point, you might be wondering how else am I gonna upgrade anything else the board comes with, and I will show you. When I say everything else on the board, I basically just mean the trucks and wheels. These Tech Deck trucks do come with rubber bushings, but that doesn't necessarily mean the trucks feel any good. Just like how I reshaped the deck, we can also reshape trucks. I made a full length video about how to upgrade your Tech Deck trucks, and it looks like that if you wanna watch it. I will also put a link in the description and a tag up above if you wanna watch that video. It is actually incredible that you can take a tech deck truck and turn it into this. And you, and you 
because I already made these, I'm just gonna throw these on the board. But if you are interested, go check out the video on how to do this. There is something so satisfying about taking something that kind of sucks and making it way better. The board now has a whole new shape with foam grip tape and the trucks are also now reshaped as well. You might think just by reshaping trucks, they're not gonna feel any better, but trust me, these feel so much better. Unfortunately, when it comes to bushings, you can't really take a bushing and make it any better. So your only option is to buy bushings or make them. If you're buying grip tape from a website, a lot of the time they also have bushings. So I would just recommend getting bushings with grip tape and then you're good to go. I'm gonna put some links down below for bushings because bushings are a super simple way you can upgrade a board for a pretty cheap cost. Now, similar to the bushings, you can't really upgrade the tech tech deck wheels super well. In the past, I made a video about putting bearings inside of tech deck wheels and that kind of made them feel a little bit better, but you're kind of better off just to buy super cheap wheels because in the end, you still need to buy bearings to put into the tech deck wheel and you may as well buy a cheap wheel. On most fingerboard websites, bearings are almost a dollar a piece, which is kind of expensive. You can find four of these wheels for only about like seven or eight dollars on some websites, which is definitely a lot better of a deal. This board doesn't come with lock nuts and they only come with just like the basic nuts, but if you're finding that the nut actually falls off of the trucks, you can put a little bit super glue inside of the nut and that'll actually hold it on a lot better. Just put a little bit of super glue inside of the nut and once it dries, you're still gonna be able to take it off normally, but it's just gonna have like a little more friction to it. The board is complete and I haven't even placed my fingers on it to see how it feels. So I think I should take my fingers and place it on the board and see how it feels. That feels pretty good. Roll test, it rolls. Pop test, it actually has some pop. Dude, that was actually the first ollie I did on this board and that clicked. This board actually has some pop. Kick flip first try over a board. The kick flip test is successful once again. fully upgraded this for under $10. That is pretty impressive considering this feels like pretty much any other pro board. The shape looks insane. It matches pretty much every other pro shape. I wanna ask you guys what your favorite upgrade was, so drop a comment down below. Grips and boards are now back in stock. I'll have a link in the description as well. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys all next time.